the tiny terror. The lab reeked of ozone and fear. A sickly green glow emanated from the contraption in the center of the room, humming with an unsettling energy. I stood before it, a mix of trepidation and excitement churning within me. Dr. Crane, his eyes gleaming with a manic fervor, assured me it would be a scientific breakthrough. Just a few minutes, Mr. Barnes, he said, his voice a high, nervous tremor. And you'll be the first human to experience true microscopic exploration. I stepped into the machine, feeling the cold metal against my skin. The air crackled, then a jolt of electricity shot through my body. I screamed, a sound swallowed by the whirring machinery. Then, darkness. When I woke, I was staring at a giant, menacing hand. I tried to scream, but my voice came out as a pathetic squeak. The hand, covered in coarse, bristly hair, moved closer, its fingers reaching towards me. Panic clawed at my throat. I wasn't in the lab anymore. I was in a nightmare. It took me a moment to realize the hand was attached to a monstrous creature, a giant cockroach with iridescent wings. Its compound eyes, like tiny black marbles, stared down at me with cold indifference. My heart pounded in my chest, a drum against my ribs. I was tiny, smaller than the smallest ant. What had Dr. Crane done? The world was a terrifying panorama of magnified textures. The smooth surface of the lab floor was now a jagged, rocky terrain. Dust particles were towering boulders, and the air was filled with a swirling vortex of unseen forces. I crawled away from the cockroach, desperately searching for a way out. But every step was a perilous journey. A single crumb was a mountain range, and the slightest breeze threatened to sweep me away. I stumbled upon a small, damp crevice, a refuge from the vast, hostile world. There I saw a single, glistening drop of water. It was a lake to me, a shimmering oasis in this desert of fear. But as I drank, I saw a reflection in the water. My face, pale and contorted, was a mask of terror. My eyes, magnified to monstrous proportions, stared back at me with a desperate plea. I was trapped. Shrunk down to the size of an insect, I was at the mercy of a world I could no longer comprehend. The lab, my sanctuary, was now a monster, a prison of my own making. The cockroach, its antennae twitching, returned. I closed my eyes, waiting for the inevitable. But instead of crushing me, it simply moved on, its colossal body a looming shadow in my miniature world. I was alone, adrift in a world of giants. I knew there was no escape, no hope of returning to my former size. My life, once full of promise, was now confined to the microscopic, a shadow of its former self. The darkness closed in, a cold, suffocating blanket. I was a tiny speck in a vast, terrifying universe. And as I drifted into unconsciousness, I could only pray for a swift end to this living nightmare. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with Chills Unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill-seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.